welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and in today's video my boys I have an exciting exciting video that I want to bring to you today. Now before we do get into the video what I wanted to go ahead and state first of all if you enjoy the video today you like what you see go ahead and drop a like it's greatly appreciated it means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content that you see today, go ahead and consider subscribing for more content like this and much more in the future. Remember to hit the notification bell to stay notified every time I do drop a new video or go live. But with that being said, what I wanted to discuss before I jump into the gameplay of what we're going to be doing today is in my last video, I went ahead and did a community tab, which if you have not checked out the community tab or are unaware of it on my channel, I have that available where I post polls and i do just kind of like update posts to see and get an idea of what you guys want to see on the channel because i like to get your guys input because you know at the end of the day you guys watch the videos and your input is very important to me on what you guys would like to see so i did a poll my last poll i did basically stating um how you guys would like to see abyss done and a lot of you guys gave me great feedback i appreciate all the feedback and uh, basically you guys don't care how I do Abyss, you just want to see it in general. Um, and then you guys also gave me a, a lot of great um, uh, video ideas that I can utilize in future videos. So that's awesome as well and I will definitely utilize that such as like Memorial Arena, um, showing equipment, things of that nature. So um, you can expect that in future videos, especially when the global side of Honkai Impact 3 is uh, kind of on a down you know down cycle i guess you could say kind of on the low period right now um but with that being said what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do um or we're gonna continue i should say my abyss climb so if you do not know or are unaware or haven't seen my last video i am now in a rusty abyss um where i wasn't howling abyss before so i graduated to rusty abyss so that's where we're at right now and in today's video what i'm gonna go ahead and do abyss with is a full uh Sakura or full yay team so this is not the team and that's going to go ahead and consist of this is very exciting for me because I, I love Sakura I love yay so it's going to consist of Memento and Flame Sakitama and Miko so full yay team this is awesome I enjoy it and we're going to use this team to go ahead and take on the abyss and just climb some floors so obviously I'm only going to do a few floors and obviously this is not going to be difficult at all this is just a rusty abyss first couple of floors so of course we're going to run through it like it's nothing but i thought it'd be really really cool to go ahead and show off as you can see we're taking these out in like one swipe um but i thought it'd be really cool to go ahead and show a full um a sakura yay team because you know yay is bay, and we all know that for sure so um i thought this would be really cool so we got flame sakitama going right now and let me go ahead and take out Miko because I haven't used Miko yet. And as you can see, took him out no problem. Um, so this has been a requested video for quite some time. Um, so we're finally getting around to it. So we're just going to continue to climb the floors here with this full yay team. And in the comments below, let me know if you used a full yay team for your abyss climb or just in general, any type of event that you've done. So let's go ahead here. Or in the comments below, actually, type in who your favorite yay valkyrie is whether it's memento whether it's flame sakitama whether it's miko let me know who your favorite is and why i, I would love to uh, get your guys's um, input on why you like a certain yay more than the other one um, for example do you like memento over flame sakitama because you're more of like an ice person or if you like miko just because she has you know high burst damage um, let me know what you guys what you guys um you know like as far as your yay or which one you prefer most or just in general you know you like them all equally um as for myself you guys know flame sakitama is number one in my heart for right now um and then i would have to go memento and then miko so that's how i would rank them um just in general but let's go ahead let's see memento's um ultimate which is actually really really cool i love it took out every look it just melted everybody <laughs> and then in the next one, I will show um, Flame Saki Thomas because Flame Saki Thomas is just absolutely ridiculous. Actually, let's get some burst damage here. There we go. There we go. And then at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and show you the build that I have for each uh, Yay Valkyrie that I have uh, because they are my most highly invested 
Valkyrie that I have out of um, all the Valks that I have. My Yeis, Memento, Miko, Flame, Sakitama are my highly invested ones. Um, so I, I will show that as well. So let's go ahead. Let's show uh, Flame Sakitama's uh, ultimate. Let's see if we can get a few of them together here. Look at, look at that. And then it's just, oh, if I can get closer. It's just complete annihilation from here on out. Like, nobody stands a chance. <laughs> no, nobody stands a chance. And then the next floor, we'll go ahead and use uh, Miko's ultimate. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take this guy out really quickly. No problem. Took him out really fast. All right. So the next floor, let's go ahead and show uh, Miko's ultimate. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into the next one here. Let's waste little time. So as of right now, the global side of Honkai Impact Three is a little, little on the dead side. Not a whole lot going on as far as. Um, you know banners or um new updates or anything like that you know we still have the halloween event still going on um we still have the ritual Callan event still going on actually let me go ahead and do the ultimate really quickly so uh you know with that being said there's not a whole lot going on on the global side so right now this is um as far as content goes not a whole lot of content why are you not doing the okay this probably maybe because they're dying really quickly um trying to get her to do her her uh ultimate the correct way but it wasn't working but anyways moving on from there so um as far as the content goes not a whole lot going on right now um so that why that that's one of the reason why i wanted to go ahead and get your guys's input on what you want to see because when honkai impact 3 on the global side is on a down um down period uh, it's very hard to come out with certain content for you guys so getting your um, perspective on what you would like to see or ideas on what you guys would like to see um, helps me out a lot to be able to still pump out content for you guys now okay so we did five floors as you, as you can see um, very little difficulty obviously we're just on the rest of the abyss so the abyss climb will get more interesting the higher I get so just bear with me I wanted to document it for you guys though um, because a lot of you have been asking for it now as far as Memorial Arena I'm gonna go ahead and do that video tomorrow most likely um, so that way because right now I don't have them at double S and I know some of you guys don't want to see Memorial Arena unless I'm fighting the boss at double S so I will wait until I get to double S and then do that video so I will probably show that in my uh, tomorrow so be on the lookout for that uh, but let's go ahead let's look at the uh, build for my yay so let's start with flame sakitama and i've showed flame sakitama off before and memento and i believe miko also but just in case you're new or you don't remember um this is what we have going on for flame sakitama so right now she is just s rank i am close to double s ranking her kind of close um you can see the stats right there as far as her weapon goes, we have the Demon Blade, Floored Sakura. Fantastic weapon for her. And as you can see, we have maxed that out completely, so that's awesome. Uh, moving on to her Stigmata set, I do have the Higukamaru maxed out, uh, the Nua Mid maxed out, and I have the uh, Kira uh, Bottom maxed out. Now, I don't have the Higukamaru Bottom. I would love to have that, but uh, for right now, Kira will do. Once I do get the Higukamaru Bottom, I will apply that and max that out as well. Um, so that is Flame Sakitama, as you can see, highly invested in. Now, if we move over to Miko, because she's just the next one in line, uh, I have the Sakura Blossom equipped on her. Now, I don't have this weapon maxed out at all. Um, it is a focus on, of mine. I'm contemplating, because uh, I can max out a weapon right now. I have enough of the Honkai Crystals to do that. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the Sakura Blossom or if I want to do the Ice Epi, the Ice Stick and Memento. You'll see that in just a moment still on the fence about that i'm still still debating that now for miko what i have is the schrodinger top max out ekaterina mid max out and the Atta uh, attila bottom uh, max out as well i just love this set uh, it just provides a lot of damage a lot of physical damage um, and it allows miko to hit extremely hard so um, this is the set i like to use for my miko now moving on to the last but not least uh, Memento and for Memento I have the Ice Stick Ice Epi so again I'm still contemplating if I want to max this one out or Sakura Blossom but this weapon is just so fantastic for Memento really works well and um, it's just it's awesome it, it just works with it really well and then I have the full Nohim set for Memento and I am in the process of maxing this set out as well 
Um, there's just a few things that I want to max out first. Um, for example, Ritual Callens uh, Stigmata set. I want to max that one out first just because I'm almost done with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and focus on Memento's Noheem set so I can go ahead and get max uh, this one maxed out as well. Um, but that is the build that I have for my Yays. Um, and they're just my one of my most favorite Valkyries to use. All three of them are just fantastic. And all three of them are really, really good Valkyries to use in just about any setting. So um, if you have them, make sure to invest in them and they will um, treat you very, very well as far as gameplay goes and your enjoyment of the game because using them is just a really, really good time when it comes to playing Honkai Impact 3, especially on the global version right now. But that is the video, guys. I hope you... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. This cough. I thought I could make it through the video without coughing but of course I cannot um, this cough is ridiculous but let me see if I have anything I can summon on um, I don't have any supply cards oh yes I do I do I do I have the event here I completely forgot about that but I only have two okay well let's let's see if we can get <laughs> let's see if we get lucky let's see if we get a stigma here um, one of the bronias watch that'd be crazy if we got two bronias but of course not <laughs> of course not uh, okay so that, nothing nothing there that's okay uh, we tried, we tried. So I'm still grinding this out, as you can see. I don't have the Bronya Stigmas. I still have a lot remaining there, so I still need to grind that event out um, to make sure that we get the rest of those. But anyways, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it slightly informative or entertaining or both. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.